Gotta stay hydrated, guys. Hello there, my beautiful internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you guys today my story of getting sick and then uh, going to the ER and being tested for the virus. You know what virus I'm talking about that's been going around and then being quarantined and then the results that I got back. Um, I wanted to share this because I know that a lot of people are really concerned and panicked right now. I, I talked to a community here. I know that many of you deal with chronic illness, chronic pain, uh, immunocompromised systems, um, other health issues, and for those of us who struggle with other health issues, this time is particularly concerning if people who are perfectly healthy are really freaking out and buying out everything in stores, um, and those of us who deal with health problems and are more susceptible to things are going to be especially concerned. So. This is the story of what happened to me and what it was like to actually go through this process. So, <clears throat> if you hear me having a hard time breathing, it's because I'm having a hard time breathing, but I'm doing better. So a few days ago, I got sick. Um, it started with kind of a drippy nose and then my chest being really tight, having a harder time breathing. But for me, it's always hard to tell the difference between that and just having a bad day with anxiety. So I was like, okay, that could be, that could be nothing. That could be anything. And then on uh, Friday, about 11 o'clock, I started coughing like a dry cough, uh, really short of breath, very exhausted, very tired. Um, I had some other stuff going on as well. And... Uh, I'm always someone who wants to be like, oh, it's fine. I'll just write it off as something else. But I know that in this time, that's not really a good idea to do. Um, so Brian and I had already started sort of preparing for just being at home more. we have gotten supplies about a week before to be in our house if we needed to for an extended period of time. We went in to see the doctor because Brian had gotten sick too. He wasn't feeling great, he kind of had chills. Neither one of us had a fever, but we were still like, okay, we should probably at least call the doctor. We didn't want to overburden the system, uh, but it was good to at least make a call about it. So he went in and got tested for the flu. I called my doctor and asked what I should do because we have different doctors. And uh, after explaining my symptoms and what had been going on, my doctor highly recommended that I go uh, immediately to the ER and get tested for the virus. So something I didn't clarify here is the fact that that doctor's offices, at least in my area, cannot do the testing right now because of the shortage of testing kits, which is why they recommended that I go to the ER or hospital or urgent care as those places most likely do have the testing supplies, but normal doctor's offices do not. I felt a little bit concerned doing this because I know that there's a shortage of test kits in my state of Colorado and also in my country of the United States of America. Um, but because a doctor recommended it, I went ahead and went to the ER. Voice over Joe, back again to clarify something else that I did not say. So something that we did and is being recommended that you do do is call ahead before you go to wherever you are going to get tested. If your doctor recommends you go to the ER to get tested, call them first, let them know that you are coming in because every place may have a different procedure if you are getting tested for this virus. It's important that you let them know that you don't just walk in there if at all possible. Now something I didn't know is that they will not give you a test right now because of the shortage unless you have had known contact with someone who has the virus or unless they think that there's a high probability that you have it. Also, they won't give it to you unless you have a doctor's order to get it. For instance, in Colorado, there are two drive-through testing sites that have been opened up, one in Denver, one in Colorado Springs, and I was under the impression that like, if you thought you had it, you could go get tested. No, that's not what's happening um, pretty much anywhere that I know that I'm aware of anywhere. You actually need a doctor's order to get tested. So if you think that you might be experiencing some of the symptoms, talk to a doctor first. You cannot just go get tested. So we ended up going to the ER and um, I got evaluated there. And something that was a little bit different than what I've experienced before is that they had me walk in and check in, you know, like to the front room and then immediately sent me out to my car, said, pull around to the back, wait there, we're gonna come out to talk to you and test you there. They didn't even want me in the building whatsoever. Now I should mention this time, I was the only one who was there um, for getting tested because Brian's doctor evaluated his symptoms and thought that he was probably okay, that it was probably just a cold, but mine were a little bit different. So they had me pull around the back, sit in the ambulance bay, which we were a little bit concerned about in case an ambulance came in, but it was okay. And then they came out and um, did all like vital signs. A doctor came out and talked to me and I wanted to pause and say it was really cold outside that day. Um, I think it's incredible that our medical professionals are doing 
whatever they need to do to stay safe and keep people safe. So they came out in the cold with jackets on to take care of me, to talk to me, to see what was going on, to take my vital signs. And then they determined that I should be tested both for the normal flu and also for the virus. So what that test actually looked like, the flu test is just a simple swab up your nose. It feels terrible for just like a minute. Um, it doesn't feel great. And then the coronavirus test is two different, two different tests. Um, one in the back of your throat and your nose, and then the other up your nose again, because if the state tests positive or a presumptive positive is what they're calling it, then they send it to the national level to confirm that test result. So I went through that and then they told me that um, I needed to stay home, Brian needed to stay home, not leave the house, basically not open the front door, not be in contact with other people, be completely quarantined, be completely isolated, um, and head home immediately rest, drink a lot of water, and wait for the test results. Right now, test results are taking anywhere from 24 hours up to five days. Um, so we thought we might be here for a little while and uh, I started feeling significantly worse the next day. So we waited and um, actually got a call back in about 24 hours that I tested negative. Good news there. So we are no longer under quarantine and I'm really glad that the test came back so quickly. So um, that's what it looks like to get tested, at least in Colorado. Uh, I still don't feel great, but uh, I'm just taking it easy at home and trying my best to keep, you know, breathing deeply, drinking a lot of fluids and resting. I think it's really interesting seeing how everyone is responding to everything that's going on. Um, Something that a friend of mine posted on Facebook who is an ER doctor, you know who you are, thanks for posting this, talked about the seriousness of the situation, but how it's so important not to panic, but also not to be in denial, because I've seen a lot of that on both sides of the fence. I've seen people losing their minds out of fear and terror and being unkind to other people because of it. I've also seen people being like, eh, whatever, it doesn't matter, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure you guys have heard about this, but one of the biggest reasons it's important to take precautions, it's important to not go to group gatherings, to um, not go anywhere if you're feeling sick at all, is so that we can flatten the curve. I'll pop an image up on screen of what that looks like, but essentially we don't want people, we don't want this getting out to a ton of people all at once we want to slow the spread when i initially heard that um i think the estimate was 40 to 70 percent of people will eventually get this my uneducated thought was like okay well then why are we even like shutting down schools like we have in my state or why are we shutting down gatherings of more than 250 people like we're doing in our state why are we being told to stay home if we can why would that matter if most people are going to get it anyways well the biggest reason is that there are only so many medical professionals and hospital beds available to people and if this if no precaution are taken if everyone just is like eh, whatever and continues about their normal cycle of life this is going to spread a lot faster people are going to get really really sick a lot faster and hospitals are not going to be able to take care of people um, as we've already seen happening happening in Italy so please listen to the recommendations put out by the CDC and the WHO and your country don't panic um, there's no need for that it doesn't help anyone I mean if you're feeling anxious I get it I really do um, I'm someone who get sick with pretty much anything and when I get sick I get really sick like when Brian gets sick he um, doesn't feel good for like 24 hours and then he's good to go when I get sick I'm like dead on the couch for three or four days because my body is uh, not great at fighting things and I have other medical conditions that contribute to that so um, for those of us who deal with pre-existing issues I understand the um, concern and for those of you who don't if you don't have any medical conditions if you don't have any you know immunocompromised systems I'm really really glad for you but please remember to watch out for those of us who do and uh, take the recommended precautions so I want to pop in a clip here by Dr. Mike, who is a fellow YouTuber. He has some really good advice on this whole situation. He is an actual medical doctor, so he knows what he's talking about. If you suspect that you have COVID-19, or any virus for that matter, call ahead to your health professional's practice before just heading over. It's really important. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. I'm going to say it again. Stay home, especially if you're sick. Three, avoid large crowds if at all possible, because that's how the virus spreads. 
Four, try not to touch commonly touched surfaces with your fingertips. Use your elbow, hip, whatever you can instead. Remember to get your information from sources that are accredited and vetted and actually know what they're talking about. So the good news is um, I do not have it at this time and I'm gonna continue taking precautions and probably staying home with Brian as much as possible and he'll be the one going out to get stuff that we pretty much have everything we need. We'll be social distancing, which is just like not doing things, not seeing people uh, unless it's really necessary. And um, yeah, we'll kind of go from here. I hope you guys are staying safe. I hope you guys are staying safe and taking care of yourselves. Um, it's important during this time, take care of your mental health as well as your physical health and follow those precautions. Thanks for listening, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions about my experience, feel free to pop them down below. I will be at home laying down and hopefully replying to comments as much as possible as I feel up to it. Thanks to my patrons for helping this channel stay afloat and do what I do here. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for spending a few minutes out of your day listening to my story here today. You could be anywhere in the world doing anything and you chose to spend it with me and I really appreciate that. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you and I will see you in the next video. Never Bye have guys. care in the world you see. Have you heard from the sky all about it? Down the river high tide flows around here. Through the whispers of pines I hear them sing. The more you learn